All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, according to La Sepa, the decision to seal some of these businesses, such as Olaya Food Catering Services and Buka Hut of Lekki Phase 1, uh, was made because of their persistent disregard for environmental pollution. Some religious centers like Ansa um, Udin, uh, or is that Ansar Udin? Ansar Udin. Ansar Udin. <laughs> and Restoration Center Global Church in Bagada were also sealed due to concerns regarding noise pollution and environmental disruption. La Sepa also reported that parts of Alaba International Market were found to have flouted um, several key waste management guidelines, such as indiscriminate waste disposal, uh, absence of designated waste points, lack of waste receptacles for proper containment, as well as um, an unsatisfactory state of drainage systems, despite repeated notices um, urging compliance to the regulations. Mm. Now, environmental hygiene regulations play a very vital role in protecting public health and the environment. By setting standards for the quality of air, water, land, and by regulating the discharge of pollutants, environmental hygiene regulations can help to prevent disease, reduce environmental degradation, and improve the overall quality of life. So today we are asking, how will La Sepa's rampant ceilings impact, uh, what's it called, hygiene in Lagos? Please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation, send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 so I was just going to take the story I said I wanted to take because there's another ceiling. Mm. Um, this was just a mention, though. This is um, um, the place, I think it's um, at Harvard Macaulay Yaba. Mm. So this one is in line with what we had talked about, um, um, demolishing structures, right? Mm. This one, they were remodeling the space, and they did not go to get a permit mm. for that remodeling. So imagine if you had like a one-story mm -hmm. or a, 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 a what's it called a bungalow and mm -hmm. you raise it up to a mm -hmm. one-story or a two-story building. Which so yeah. which is good because this is what we're talking about laws, right? And saying that why don't you even just let them instead of building? Yeah. You know, but this Do one they've I even think. finished building it. They've gone to seal it. Mm. I was just gonna say that. Okay, so when the La Sepa started working, because this new administration of La Sepa, mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. they're obviously working. Mm. Um, there were a lot of, of course, you know, I always come with all those conspiracy theories yeah, that it yeah. seemed like the businesses were targeting mm. certain kinds of um, um, people, mm. right? But the, the, the reasons for this ceiling of all of these places, right, they are quite valid. Mm -hmm. um, talk about waste management, talk about noise pollution, talk about um, uh, what's it called, poor drainages, you know, you know so... I mean, they are quite the cogent, reason. cogent, some yeah. of those reasons, right? Um, so I looked at it and I said, okay, let me go back again. There's a lot, I think they even forgot to mention the... Um, a lot of them This of the Ladipo, yeah. she was also shut down. A lot of those things. Oigbo was shut down. Oigbo was, yes. was shut down. Yeah, but, yeah, a lot of them. A lot of them. So I, I'm now wondering in my head, but, um, um, D, that outside of all of these things, mm. right, if we truly want to check some of these violations, mm. is there any particular structure that will survive, especially the major market? Mm. Would there be anyone, an, an exception? Mm. Do you understand? Because there was a time, you know, when, when they sealed that um, third mainland that I had to go through Yaba, mm. there was a time I don't know what happened. Maybe it was because the, the traffic was so bad. Google was trying to take me through. On more that day, I passed inside Balogun. Jehovah, I had never seen that. If you see the kind of heap of rubble. Yeah. There's a part in Balogu they call gutter or something. Yeah. So so what what I'm saying is if La Sepa mm. is really ready for this this thing, it means that they'll be ready to seal everywhere. Yeah. Because there are no right now there are no current standard markets. Mm. Apart from the newly built Yaba Ultra market uh, the mm. Ultra Modern market and the one at um what's it called? Um, Alan Roundabout, what's mm. the name of that one? Alade Market. Alade market. Mm. That has standardized. Mm. Every other market seems to be like violating some of these things that they have pointed at the reasons for sealing up these places. But what do you think? Okay, so I agree with um, your point. That's where you're coming from. You know, that um, in order to enforce the law, 
there must first be a structure on ground. But um, while there may not be, while we may not be operating at a hundred percent capacity of structure in terms of okay, these are the structures on ground and all that. There are within the ambit of their operation, they know that there are laws. And I can, I can say that for Lagos, I don't know about other states, but I can say that for Lagos, they have associations. That's market women, market men associations and all that. And they, they, they have these laws because sometimes you can hear them. I'll give you an example. In Ekmori, there are, there are set, they know the days they do sanitation. Hmm. They, they, they know these things. But you see, our people are such that we are so used to the law not working. We're so used to nobody enforcing the law that it becomes a big issue when somebody decides to enforce the law. I'll give you an example. When they were, um, when they were building Yaba, you know before, of course, before it became an ultra-modern market, there was still a market there. There were buildings and all that. Now, I remember that Governor Fashola was trying to get people off the rails mm -hmm. because people used to die in that, on that rail. Mm. But guess what? When the Kai or the task force, when they, they used to beat them up and say, please, they want to die. Now, he felt as the governor of the state, it was his responsibility to safeguard the lives and properties of people. And he tried, but mm -mm. So every time they keep coming there, people will still, in the, like, once the task force has gone, you see them, they will come back. So we keep doing these things because we feel, hey, the same way you'll see people selling on the road. It becomes a major problem for cars to drive through, for even pedestrians to even walk through normal roads, just because somebody is standing on the road and selling mm. and thinking it is their right. You know, so I think, I mean, I, I've had the arguments where people are trying to politicize this. And like you rightly said, think they're targeting a specific kind of people. But I don't agree with that. Because when they locked... Um, when they shut down mile 12, I, I listened to the um, person in charge who was speaking on channels, and he said something. He said, you know what? People would always talk. That's the truth. And he said, they are not just closing indiscriminately. There are certain conditions. There were notices given to their authorities. Now, it is now the responsibilities of their authorities. Did they pass down those notices or they did not? I'm sure they did. But, you know, like you rightly said mm -hmm. in the beginning, that they always think that they can always get away with things. That's why they let that, it that, slide. But I want, to, I want to bring you back to, mm -hmm. you know, um, the structure, yeah. right? Because, you see, <laughs> it's easier said than done, True. right? Mm. Because... If we look really with our microscopic eyes, mm. hmm, we have never had a proper structure when it comes to marketplace in mm. Nigeria. Mm. Right? Our markets have always been known for some of this kind of chaos. Mm. Because they believe that it is in the chaos that the price will be, you have a good price yeah. point. You mm. know? So if you look at all the structures within market structures, it's always been like that. Mm. So when you say Thursdays are for sanitation, mm. right? I get it. Because most times, you just, they don't open their businesses until, until 10, 10, 10, 10 a.m. Yeah. in the morning. Yeah. Well, guess what? They don't use it for nothing. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, because sure even, when, even when they pack those dirt, mm. like, okay, I swept my own side. Mm. They, they put, they put, them they put the it. Mm. But you know the crazy thing? They have... Beans. Sometimes I see you. I see the gigantic beans. And yes, you see heaps of dirt but, right beside. But guess what? This is what this is where, where I'm going with this conversation. Because you see, it's not sealing these properties mm. that will solve the problem. Mm. It's the fact that you must understand and make people examples. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. You must make people examples, and there should not be any exception. Mm. That fairness must be cut across. Don't seal up one store and leave the other. Mm. Because if you say, what affects what? It, when we talk about noise pollution, for instance, mm. Mm. this lucky where they go, they see, say noise pollution. Even right next to, I mean, on that entire Admiralty, there are different kinds of spots at night. Mm. Do you understand? So why are those other ones still open? Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So if you're Maybe talking about... <laughs> I hear you. So if you're talking about some of these things, right, mm. my point is, Make it that when they come, it is slippery. Nobody can catch you. Mm. You know why? 
Because even you said you use your eyes to see that mm. there is no discrimination here. Mm. So that Asarudin mosque now, for instance, that they shut down, that's not the only mosque that makes noise. Mm. Because, I mean, mm. it's just that God has delivered us from living in certain kinds of areas. But there are some areas that you go to till tomorrow. You understand? You will hear so many loud even noises. Churches. Do you get what I'm saying? Same with churches. Yeah, same with churches. I mean, there was, there was a church right before um, um, my, what's it called? My, my very first house, you know, in Magodo Phase 2. That church, well, they started trying, Sha. You understand? But I'm saying to you that. It is back to back. It's not so. It's not something that it can, it can. What's it called? You can leave, do just this one, and say, okay, this other person, because it's everywhere. Mm. If you want to really look at those churches, it's everywhere. Is it the one that is holding a uh, megaphone on the road? Arrest them. Do you understand? It's noise. <laughs> you go to bus stops. Mm -hmm. You see those people trying to sell me ah. one, 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 one um, concussion that can solve. 10, 10 billion diseases. <laughs> you see them with the loudspeakers. Or the people calling passengers no, with so, megaphone. So, 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 when you talk about noise pollution, <laughs> what, what might mean noise pollution to you might not be noise pollution <laughs> to me. Do you understand? But I'm saying to you that if you really want to solve this problem and be seen to be fair, let it go across. Yeah. You get? So now... Um, Mile 12, I don't know if they've it's reopened open. now. Yeah, it's open but now. Mile 12 has always been known for dirt. Ah. Like, literally, I have not entered that market in years. I mm. entered it. So I used to enter, but at some point, I said, never. See, the one thing, Diola, mm. I hate in my life, mm. in case you did not know, know it mm. now, mm. I do not go to markets. Mm. Because I just have a phobia for markets. Mm. So if there's anything I can get in the supermarket, or if you want me to really, really do that thing for you, go and buy it, bring it. Mm. I do not like market because the, it, it just gives me some kind of, I don't know, one kind of feeling. Mm. Why do I need to wear boots to enter a market? That's my truth. You understand? Know, Why do I need to wear boots? So oh. if you talk about the Alaba internet, I've never been there. Yeah. But I hear that, you know, that place also like is chaotic. Then the one that sells, you know, there's Alaba and the one that there's sells. Alaba six, Rago. The one that sells the uh, spare parts. Which one is Alaba is the one it's that trade fair. There's trade fair, there's Alaba. There's Alaba International. Alaba, I there's think that, Alaba Ragu, where they sell cattle and all that. Look at Kara way. Market. Look at Kara. The day we went to do a documentary. <laughs> God of heaven. At some point I told the cameraman, please, if people are not turning back, me, I'm going back to the car. When you people finish, come and meet me. You know, is it the Kara market or I mean literally even Oingbo market? Market is synonymous synonymous to dirt in this country. So, you see, for us to solve this problem, it has to be a complete 360 mind reorientation and shift. Okay, so do you think that if there were structures like proper markets, do you think that we would be able to rise above this um, issue of dirt, you know, yes. waste disposal? Yes, and I will answer you. Let's take a break because I would like to open our phone lines. I will answer you 100% yes. Thanks for staying with us. And if you just tune in, it's our ladies' night out. As you already know, D and I, we're trying to talk, <laughs> touch this La Sepa <laughs> rampant ceiling that is happening and what the impact on hygiene will be in Lagos. Now, mm. please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 1803 You can also send us, oh, sorry, call 0702500749. That's the number to call. Remember to turn off the volume or whatever device it is that you're watching us from. So, I was saying to you that, yes, it was possible. You mm. asked the question yeah. that if we had an ultra-modern market, right, mm. is it possible for us to not start? Yeah, it's very possible. But two things. First of all, right, um, we need to restructure because we have malls. There was, there was a time in our lives in this country that we never knew what shopping malls were. Mm. Now you see actual people. Like, literally, everybody goes to supermarkets to go to shopping malls to go and shop, right? Mm. So... Balogo Market, for instance, has a lot of, it has a, there's a lot of restructuring that has to happen in that market. Mm -hmm. Balogo Market is supposed to be the Sam's Club or the, call the, what's the other one in the Costco. U.S.? Or Costco, right? Mm -hmm. That is supposed to be like the idea. Because the idea is that you're going there to go and buy in bulk mm -hmm. and you are now, you know, taking those. So if a government were really serious about solving some of this hygiene problem, right? It is now trying to restructure the markets in a way that we start to, you know, like force people to say, this, 
is the this is the path we're going. Mm. So you better follow it well. Which is what they did with the what's it called the Yaba ultra modern market. Have you been right? inside that market recently? Hey, wait now, nah, they come. Are they come? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were coming there. I I I have fifty steps ahead of you. <laughs> I knew you were coming there. But you see. Now, it goes back to what I said, that mm. it's beyond the structure. Yeah. Because no matter how modernized the structure is, mm. if it's still the same human being, <laughs> and it's still the same, their own way of life, yeah. but they want to bring it to that structure, it's it not going to work. work. Which is what is happening, even with the ultra-modern markets that they've built in Yaba. Yeah. Yes, there is a structure, there's no longer whatever, mm. but you can still see that it's still the same mindset. Yeah. Nigerians are already used to that thing. So we are used take, to chaos. We are used to chaos. Yeah. It would take a lot for us to be able to retrace our steps mm. back. Mm. Now, even for the sake of hygiene, mm. Mm, you know that this is not only... If you go to Cardinal State, I don't know any other state market that I've entered. I've gone to other states, but I don't think I've entered their, their market. markets. Yeah. In Cardinal State, where I grew up, there's a market my mother used to buy all her food stuff and all of that. It's called Kakuri Market, and I think there's Station Market. Mm. If you see where Northerners, and this, I'm going to give it to them. If you see very, where Northerners are selling food, they wash, you they go one chop yeah, yeah, true. Literally. So they, they, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, so that's what I'm saying to you, that there's so many things playing out here. There is a mindset reorientation that needs to happen. Mm. So it is beyond just sealing up these places. You know why? If they comply, and they probably go and meet all the stat, um, what's it called, statutory conditions mm. for them to be reopened, it doesn't guarantee that, that the sustainable. hygiene mm. that you are trying to achieve would happen. It doesn't guarantee that you know the pollution or whatever you're trying to avoid. You understand? It will come back. So I believe that yes, sealing might happen just to put some level of scare. But it's beyond the ceiling. We need to find a way to start to change the mindsets of people. The, most of this market that you go to, right, they believe that until the thing is from the debt. In fact, there are some places where they sell tomato. The broken one is cheaper. Yeah. The, they, they'll tell you that this one is cheaper. Then the ones that are fresh and whatever, they'll tell you those ones are more expensive. Mm -hmm. All those things are mindset. Do you understand? So food and safety. Mm. Right, especially for the ones that are dealing with food, mm -hmm. we need to have a food and safety, uh, what's it called, department. I don't know how they are going to do it. They have. Do you understand? That goes to check. Mm. Because even this thing is not unique to Nigeria. No, it's not. Have you been to, have you exactly. not seen some videos of McDonald's where mm, they have big actually, rats actually inside big. there, you know, mm. and all of that? So, kitchen, especially people that cook, if you go to the what happens behind, you will not want to eat that food. Sure. True. So it's not unique to a particular people. It is just the mindset. Mm. You know, I was in America in Las Vegas. Omo, that kitchen. I was almost having heart attack. <laughs> of course, we see some things on um, what's it called? This um, all these food shows dirty. and of course. I said, is course. it possible in America? The America mm. they talk. No. Everything is everywhere, possible. and you know, it's, uh, it also comes down to you cannot you cannot give what you don't have. True. If you don't have the knowledge and, you know, understanding of what an action, you know, can result to, you probably may not even do better. If the average grassroots woman who, who sells her products in the market does not even understand that just from not handling tomato well, you could be selling a whole you know, basket of poison yeah. to an innocent family. Absolutely. She may not even know because she will tell you this is where I also eat from. So you find out, find out that they have recurring sickness, but nobody is probably teaching them. So I think that in order, like you said, it has to be a multi-pronged solution. Thank you. you. Know, structure, but there must be education, education, enlightenment. Continuous one. Continuous one. So you do that through their association or their leadership structure where you tell them, listen, you must do this for us to be able to get this. Okay, what are the challenges? Okay, why is it difficult for you to dispose your waste? Because some of them will tell you, oh, before I walk from here to there. Some, again, I mean, you're talking about structures. How many of these women or men can actually afford a structure, if you put a structure in place. So, so let me even explain something to you. 
what you just said about mm. the tomato mm. analogy. Mm. You see, in other same communities, mm. when a produce is leaving the farmland, mm. the way they take the carry them, they carry it with prestige. Do you get what I'm saying? They put them in crates. Mm. So if it is a tomato, if it is a cabbage, your cucumbers, they put them in crates neatly. Please, they put our own in trailer. Please. And baskets. <laughs> because <laughs> when something has already been malhandled, of course. Do you know what I'm saying? We need to start to pay attention. attention See, yeah. like literally, we don't treat ourselves as kings and queens. We treat ourselves like nobodies. Yeah. We treat ourselves like paupers. Even paupers in some places will not eat what it is that we're eating. I, you, you know, understand? I always say that. They will not even give it to their animals. If people go, have the opportunity to go to markets to see where their food actually comes from. You will not have to eat. Honestly. Honestly. So that's what I'm saying. Oh, that La Sepa, La Sepa ceiling of places there. Mm. It's a fantastic thing. Yeah. But I'm saying that the, the approach mm. should not just stop at ceiling. Mm. You know, one day, road safety stopped us on the road. Mm. And the guy said that, oh, was it maybe sea caution? I can't remember what it was that was missing amongst all the things they asked us. Mm. So I asked him a question. I said, sir, what was the use of this sea caution? He said, okay, that accident and all of that. I said, what are you mo most interested in? Is it educating us so that we understand the consequences of some of these things? The law. Or enforcing the law and just you're just concerned mm. about your fine? Mm. He, he, he kept mute because, you see, he, he immediately understood what, where I was yeah. going. Yeah. I said, I don't have a problem paying your fine. And I will pay your fine. But I'm trying to explain to you a road safety uh, officer, right? Mm. Your job is to, to educate, educate me first. Yeah. And yeah. tell me, oh, madam, if you don't have your fire extinguishers, you don't have your, what's it called, sea cautions, if anything goes wrong, mm. you cannot, you know, because you will not be able to pack and give, um, uh, what's it called, um, notice to someone coming that yeah. there's a broken yeah. down vehicle here. Yeah. Very true. Do you understand? Very so true. it's the same thing approach with La Sepa. Sealing it, mm. it is, what's it called, consequences, right? Mm. Mm. But what about why the did it why happen? the root cause we don't yeah. ask why in this country we just yeah. do things because there is a why this is happening mm -hmm. right mm. before the lady feels the need to sell in a clean environment yeah how did the goods get to her in the first yeah. place do you mm. understand yeah. did the goods come to her clean mm. you know was it neatly presented to her we don't take hygiene and this is beyond just these places yeah go to public toilets no 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 go to even That's fine offices that. You will see a beautiful office. Tell them you want to use the restroom. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it is hygiene problem. Yeah. Is a is a is is an it's it, an it has to be inbuilt. It has to be. It's it, inside it's, our yeah, blood. Yeah. The problem is is rooted. Yeah, it is. So for us to solve it, sealing these places is just like peeling. And you know, it comes back to the fact that we we do not have the uh, the maintenance culture. Absolutely. So. You see, I, I, I see the possibility of, okay, you, you, you erect all these beautiful edifices and structures and provide all these um, places, and then in two years, it's run down. Absolutely. They don't care. Absolutely. Nobody cares. So, you, I, again, I mean, people need to be educated on the why so they understand that there, there are consequences for actions and they need to speak to them in a language that they would understand. understand. It's very important. So, so, so very beyond important. just sealing, mm. I want to see La Sema's framework. Mm. I want to see La Sepa, oh, sorry, La Sepa's framework. framework. I want to see what their, their structure mm. would be in terms of educating. They need to use a yeah. lot of media uh, it it has called? to be a public advocacy. Public advocacy, yeah. yes. Yeah. You must yeah. use use celebrities, use different yeah. people. Yeah. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? Because it's a real problem that they're trying to solve. Yeah. yeah. Right? Public health. Is, public health is, is a real problem that they're trying mm. to solve. Mm. But you mm. see, your approach to solving public health should not just stop at just throwing the hammer. Mm. Say, oh yeah, bam, seal, seal, seal. No. Mm. It should go beyond that. Mm. Mm. Because... Guess what? A lot of us rely on these public food. Look yeah. at the story NJ took last week of a live frog. This frog was not dead, Jola, in a sealed sachet water bag. What? Uh, sachet water, uh, yeah. A live frog. 
So in that live frog that you have seen one live frog inside the sachet water. It's like a thousand liters of water. What are we talking about eggs? That, that, uh, the, the eggs that would be in other bags. <laughs> because those eggs now, they're not visible to the no, eye. The not. frog is big, yeah. you can see it. What about the eggs? What about the tadpoles? You will see. So, do you know what I'm saying? So, what the Asepa is care. doing is fantastic. Yeah. Right? And I must commend them. I'm just only asking that beyond just sealing these places, right? If you truly want to solve a problem, mm. right? There is a, there's an approach that can even take the, the solution higher. And this, not this higher. has to even be a national campaign. It can't just because I mean it can't be Lagos State it, because it can, it's everywhere. It can't just be Lagos State. It it's has everywhere. To be a national campaign. It's everywhere. Wow. So I, so you know why this is close to home for me. My mom ran a, a restaurant for over twenty years, mm. right? And I've said this thing several times. First of all, my mom cannot serve a customer a food that she cannot eat. Mm. So it means that for them to have for you to for her to serve you that food. It must have been prepared, first of all, under the right conditions. Mm. Secondly, there is a particular temperature mm. that she, all the food must be served. Maybe now they get all these, uh, what's it called, uh, microwaves. And all. There mm. was nothing like mm. that. Mm. So it, 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 she took her time. For some clients, in fact, it is whilst you are there yeah. that she's making the, maybe if it's a swallow or whatever, mm -hmm. she mm. prefers to make it live all the time. And when I'm talking about restaurant, I'm not talking about a small space. We used to cater to um, what's it called? All the entire staff of NMPC. Mm. When it's lunch break, the place is a madhouse. But in all of those things, so that's where I picked on some of these things. When it's going bad, quickly sort it out. Yeah. Don't wait. Don't the wait. gym is completely destroyed. I see this thing going bad. I'm watching and watching and watching till it's I'll get back to it. I'll get back to it. Which is what we're seeing, right? Because yeah. some of these places that La Sefa is, is, is uh, sealing, mm -hmm. nobody today this their own pollution starts. Absolutely. Nobody today the noise starts. Yeah. Nobody today the, the dirty starts. You understand? Mm. And so if we truly must solve the problem, line by line, each mm. market, mm. if they take on maybe uh, mile 12 now, line by line, and this is not the one you can see, mm -hmm. even inside the coral, because how can they name a place gutter? That's what they, and, and, and trust me, D, they've taken me to that gutter. I held my nose. The money. And the kind of billions that come out of that gutter. Are you joking? Mm. You know, so that's what I'm saying to you that Nigerians. How do you even have, build structures there? How do you even so, sell see, that's what I'm saying, D. there? Nigerians, we have we have somehow wired dirtiness and wealth. <laughs> you said our brother. It is only when the thing is dirty that's when money can come. You see, I also I don't think, know how to explain. I it. mean, I I remember that when we took this conversation, you know, we had spoken about um, somebody somewhere being um, complacent and being a partner, you know, in in promoting corruption, you know, especially at the helms of government. And it's, it's so true because I know that for some of these structures that are built, they are like illegal structures, you know, that they turn into markets. They probably won't say that it's for markets. They'll say it's for something else. So they don't really look at these critical um, factors of, okay, drainage of um, waste, proper waste disposal, because you're not even forthright about the kind of structure you want to build Absolutely. there. So it's the same case for churches and for... Because now you find churches renting residential apartments. And converting and, and exactly. them. Exactly. Thank you. I mean... This, Do you get what I'm saying? Thank uh, you. So th these, are the, these are the issues. You see that it's beyond just saying you're sealing the place. Do you mm -hmm. understand? For, for this thing to work, Everybody must come together on the table and say, guy, do your job. Mm. You are the one in charge of environmental planning. Mm. Please plan your environment. Anything that is not properly in place, take them out. You call the people in, 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 in um, what's it called, Re um, uh, what's it called, um, permits. Mm. Anything that is not properly placed, seize the license to operate. I mean, role model, um, the school my children went yeah. to, the primary school. Mm that is owned by Daystar. Yeah. If you go into that school, you know, because they are very close to Alausa. Mm. My pastor will tell you, he doesn't like Wala. Some mm. of them, you don't like Wala. <laughs> Every single thing, in mm. terms of regulations and whatever, they make sure mm. that they put it. Because first of all, they will not give bribe. Mm. And they, uh, so you will see that it's working. Mm. My point is, if you know that Como, these people, they know they collect bribe. Yeah. You will do the you right thing. You will do the right thing. Sure. But this one, for this, that is the other way around. Mm. 
because they cannot give bribe. Mm. You get what I'm saying? They will make sure that, because if you cannot give bribe, they will frustrate you. Yeah. They will make sure that every single thing you tick off the yeah. box. So yeah. they too, they have put every single thing in place. Mm. So imagine if we flipped that coin. Yeah. We're not taking bribe. If your structure does not meet this thing, you're going to yeah. go down. Exactly. Everybody will comply. Mm. Everybody will comply. Amen to that. <laughs> Let's take some comments. Yeah, so... Well, the government have all these agencies. Didn't we have sanitation inspectors in this same Nigeria back in the day? Mm. One day, when same agency wakes up, you would hear they sealed up one fast food outlet. Outlet. This is Nigeria. Ni Omole. <laughs> Ni from Omole. Thank you so much, Lagos. Okay. I think this is still from Ni Omole. He says, um, good evening, ladies. Lacepa's rampant ceilings won't impact hygiene. It's just another um, IGR drive, like all other agencies of government, all of a sudden waking up to their responsibilities. Truth is, same government agencies abdicated their responsibilities or prefer to selectively discharge it. On the market, we don't have standard markets. Even at, at that, the markets should be cleaned up daily. This idea of Thursdays alone as sanitation is absurd. Until the government is ready to do the right thing, there is no end in sight to the abnormalities in Nigeria. Absolutely. You know, some people inside that market, they believe they are above the law because oh. they are friends of Iyalo Oh, Of course They are in the, they are in the <laughs> caucus of the caucus. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Well, funny enough, they, I, I, I don't get why they don't see that. It is in their best interest to have a clean So let me explain to you the biggest dumpster. You know the biggest dum dumpster now is um, Olushosu. Yes. Where is that located? It's very close to Alauta. Yeah. In fact, at some point, because role model is very close there, they start is, you, you know. You can smell that place oh from the express. Oh, my God. Is it the express? In the children's classroom, the smell. I just wonder how these people are coping. So one day, you know there's a mechanic village right yeah. at that? They call it the 7 mm -hmm. Up uh, mechanic mm -hmm. village. One day I got there, I said, wow. I saw one woman just comfortably making the food. Yeah, Everybody was just people like, are eating there. I said, how are you guys coping? They are, they are like literally how are you coping because i couldn't even yeah i was feeling like i was going to faint because <laughs> of the smell yeah do you understand they yeah. are so that's what i'm trying to explain to you that we are so used to these things mm. that it's no when you are talking about it it's strange it's, to it, them. it is strange actually it so is strange. when you as la sepa want mm. to solve this problem mm. feeling it you're just wasting your time do you understand what we need to start to do now is actively intentionality we mm -hmm. must use intentionality to say, you know what, every single week, you understand, there has to be one campaign going on every on a weekly basis, mm -hmm. a campaign going on. We're coming to your place. Make sure this is in place. Make sure that is in place. You know, even for malls. I mean, I had a, a store mm -hmm. in the mall. People started bringing goods outside. I said, why? They say, because customers will not say, I said, no. That's why it's a shopping it's a, mall. People will walk in. People should walk in. But then, you know, guess what? Because this is the mindset. Mm. If I don't display it outside, nobody will see my goods. So mm. a lot of, even this market mm. people that you are talking about, right? They just believe that they have to go and put it outside. They have to be on the road, yeah. To be on the road. And they don't understand that the only reason why they have to be on the road is because these places are so chaotic that people would rather not come in. It's as simple as that. So make the environment such that it is attractive, it is clean enough that people want to come in. On that note, I'm looking forward to sitting down with La Sefa Someone Bos. from, yeah. No, no, the yoga pata pata because we need to understand. We need to ask. Exactly. Because, because I'm sure that there are things that they are asking So on. maybe this is e the e first e leg. Exactly. So it would be nice to understand exactly. what the structure, the trajectory, what are the plans, you understand? Because... These things, it's, it's in phases, and you must understand that one, whatever can solve the problem, mm -hmm. it can't. Ah, my shawarma place, say yeah. Find another spot. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's just something about that shawarma. Maybe it's because from it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> may it not be, oh. May it not be, may it not be. <laughs> have, you seen the, have you seen some videos on Instagram? In, in Indian people cooking, washing their hands. They say, Please don't talk about that one. <laughs> Nigeria, they learn where Indians they <laughs> we are out of time. I've heard you people. 
Before we go, I'm sure you follow us across all social media handles. That way, you show Africa you can interact with us further, drop a comment, and most importantly, follow all our engagements on social media. Like, share, and invite your family and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our very important quote, but short, it says, A healthy ecology is the basis for a healthy economy. This is very true. So, watch out. And we are hoping La Sepa succeeds because we really want a, a more hygienic. Uh, Lagos. A, 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 yeah, a better. Yeah. Mega Be city. Better, cleaner Lagos. Yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Ciao.